a growing gap between the demand and the supply in terms of the Islamic lifestyle, particularly among the millennials in Indonesia. With Alami, we provide an avenue or a tools to, for these millennials or whoever they are to participate or invest their money in a Sharia structured way to SMEs. Uh, in the global financial crisis in 1997 and 2008, does their financial institution actually perform better than other countries? That's what I would like to know and how do they perform better? So what I meant was the Sharia concept or this financial system is more robust because they're linked to the real economy, real activity and has less speculation and it will create less social impact. So basically uh, for us, uh, we operate under Sharia principles, but not only that, uh, we also try to portray the Islamic values or the Sharia values in, in our business model. Many people thinking that riba is something like no interest rate. This in conventional, the interest will charge on the interest and at the end of the day, it will roll like a snowballing effect. Because we provide an experience that is truly unique, so you can familiarize yourself with our user interface and hopefully we, you can get this viral and share it with your friends. I think in Islam, it's in financial transaction, it's more like social, not social, yeah, social interaction, right? Like you treat other like fairly, so he will like repay the money uh, if he could, maybe in the future, but at least he doesn't stress out and commit suicide, for example. So this kind of social impact, if you know what I mean. We plan many big things for uh, the SME space uh, in order to boost the productivity in the country. Uh, we're aligned with the government, with the OJK, uh, as well as the other stakeholders to improve this nation's economy, especially through financial inclusion and especially Sharia financial inclusion.